welcome to an RLI to you, the show in which six beloved names from the world of Rocket League will try to spin tails as tall as the offseason has been long. Our first guest is the man who puts the liar in Australia. It's CJ CJ. One of the worst openings I've ever heard, Cole. Thanks for having me, and I am so excited to be here, joined by my team of winners. Got Abjack yes. on the left, T Bates on my right. Exciting stuff, the number one team, but they are against the other team captain, the man who is my compatriot, my business partner, sometimes my lover, but we won't talk about that one. If uh, anyone else was here, they talk about a conflict of interest. It's Stumpy Goblin. <laughs> Hello, mate. You're right. Uh, yeah, we're doing what I'll write to you. And I've got the incredibly talented Johnny Boy and even more talented Veracity on team two. And it's a higher number, therefore we're better. So before we get to the rules, which we'll talk about in a second, I just want to thank Resolve for powering this. We couldn't have done it without you guys. But we're here to play a game, everybody. I'm going to go to each and every one of you, one at a time, and you're going to tell two stories. One of them is true. The other one is a lie. It then goes to the other team to ask you as many questions as are necessary to try and decipher which one is which. Does it matter who wins? Is there a prize? How much money <sighs> am I getting? No, you are getting absolutely nothing. You mean nothing to me, and I will never give you a penny for as long as I live. Stop trying to get subpar money. If everyone is happy, we are going to go to Stumpy Goblin first. And my first story is that at university, I tried and ultimately did end up failing um, to create something that I called the blue car challenge. And then my second story is that I have also um, been viciously attacked by a squirrel. Okay, so CJ's team was Stumpy the creator right. of the blue car challenge, or was he attacked by a squirrel? Go on, Jack. Assume, Go on, Jack. I assume, Get him. I assume we, can, we can ask questions, right? Yes. That is oh, like yeah. a toy game. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the blue car. So, what was the blue car challenge? Stumpy? So, um, the blue car challenge, which unfortunately failed to go viral, and um, this, by bear in mind, is back in like 2013 to 2016 is when I was at university. So, it's a good long while ago. Um, we'd just come out of um, when I was at secondary school and there was like planking and all those kind of weird viral challenges that were going on. You would try and do the most ridiculous pose that you could think of whenever you saw a blue car or when you saw a blue car and you could then do a ridiculous pose. So say you're walking down the road at uni <laughs> and you saw a Peugeot 206, uh, a blue one. You'd then go next to it and you would maybe lay across the bonnet looking like you've been hit by the car. You try and make it look as crazy and, as possible, all in order to then have like a picture, then go viral, then other people would then do the blue car challenge. Cool. Okay. So th you posted this, you know, picture or multiple pictures on, on social media. What On Facebook. This was in, I believe, 2014 slash 2015. So God, how old was I then? About 10 years ago. Yeah. Interesting. So, Your years are changing already. You said 2013 about four minutes. I said I was at university between 2013 and 2016, and it was somewhere in the That's middle. True. I don't know. Where. I remember it being cold. Stumpy, you didn't provide much in information about uh, about the vicious squirrel attack. Can you uh, provide more information <laughs> on that one, please? I'd love to. Um, so I used to uh, volunteer at an uh, animal rescue place uh, that was near where my parents lived. There was a squirrel that we had to clean with um, because it was so bitey that we had to put on a welding glove and put our <laughs> hand just like just about into the cage and try and clear it out. Um, mm -hmm. And this squirrel basically figured it out after a good few weeks. I worked there every weekend um, after a good few weeks that it jumped on my hand and then ran up my arm. At which point there's a squirrel that has been known to bite through welding gloves next to like my neck. So I then grabbed it and then pulled it away. And then suddenly I'm now holding a squirrel. And so it does what is natural to it. And it bit me right on the uh, wrist, and I had to like fling it around and get it off. Can we see your yeah, wrist? Yeah, yeah. If I got can attacked visually by a squirrel, <laughs> I, I think I think that I would have a yeah. mark or some form of yeah, there you showing go. that it happened. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. That's all I need to see. Yeah. You said the the squirrel was at a, a what an animal rescue? Is that, yeah, an animal rescue place. So yeah. what was what was its name? Did it have a name? As far as I know, the squirrel didn't have a name. We just wasn't an animal rescue place. Us. The uh, it was called Animals <laughs> in Need. <laughs> yeah, See, okay. now I'm thinking I want to switch. Just really no, quick. Right. It's, <laughs> time, it's time to no, go. No, no, it's, okay, okay. No, it's, it's the classic. Roll me a jack. Roll it's the me classic. Jack. All right, we're, we're going to say that the blue car was true and the squirrel is a lie. At uh, university, um, I tried and failed to create a viral craze called the blue car challenge is a lie. That is a what? lie, everybody. What? Yeah, I have been attacked by a squirrel. I actually also <laughs> do have a scar. It is quite small, but I actually do have a scar on that wrist. You what? probably won't be able to see it. 
Yeah, you Thanks can't really see it, gone. to be fair. But yeah, there, it, it bit right. straight into my wrist, and I had wow. to shake it off. And there were That's children crazy. outside looking. Stumpy's squirrel attack is the only time in his life he'll be negatively impacted by wild creatures. Well, unless you count him being hounded by rabid fans when the subpar YouTube channel finally gets the popularity it deserves. Yes. Nice. Yes. Well done. Get on with it. That's good. good. Thank, thank you. Like that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sneak that one in. Let's just move straight on. Let's just move straight on to da -na -na -na, CJ CJ. All right. My first prompt. I once had to be rescued from a theme park ride. My second prompt. In my Aussie Rules football team, my rarely used full nickname is Cambob Squarepants. Sorry, Scorepants. <laughs> Cat <laughs> roll. Right. Uh, what what theme park ride was it, CJ, to be rescued from? Let me switch up on you here and say, well, it was a theme park. But it was a it was a it was a water park. What was the ride? <laughs> it well, oh, so you know those um those ones where you go in a capsule and it, and it drops you, mm -hmm. like where you stand there and it's like three, two, one drop. It's like Hamakaze. Yeah, slide those are scary, that, isn't it? Yeah, you know you guys know those ones. Well, yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't yeah. that one. It was actually <laughs> sort of one where um <laughs> it was it was a ride where. <laughs> I, I was with my cousin at, at the time. We I always don't care went. who was there. Please tell me what ride it was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I, to be honest, if I was going to be, I can't quite remember the name of the ride. Um, it might have been like a, you know, a, a rapids sort of thing. But, you know, that I don't think that's relevant to the story. I can tell you what I, kind I of... have another question, CJ. We don't care about the storylines, okay? Oh, How old were you when you got stuck on this ride? I reckon if... It and you know, Reckon? at the Reckon? time, if I was another couple of years, I would be able to play RLCS. So I would probably <laughs> say, so you're about eight or nine. So you're about <laughs> six. Okay, <laughs> I think I was probably ten. How did, how did they rescue you? What was the whole mm -hmm. like yeah, uh, process? Happened? Okay, so this slide, when you get to the bottom, because it doesn't want you to fly over the edge, it has a little um, it slows you down at the end through a mechanism on the floor. Um, and we were that little and slow that it actually we didn't. We just stopped um, just at the end. Guys, right. why don't we move on to his rarely used yes. full nickname? Yeah, oh, I yes. want to know more about that. Because bear yeah. in mind that the other one is that he was called Cambob Scorepants. <laughs> Scorepants, <laughs> come on. This sort of started as a kid because I played in the same um, junior team right the way through until I was sort of from when I was seven, I'd say, until 16 sort of thing. I, you know, I'm a lifetime member at this place. Now, I wasn't a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants. And my friend that was on the team at the time, this is when we're in the under nines, he was a, he was a bit of a fan of the, the, old, the old SpongeBob. But there was one game, right, where I scored, I think it kicked maybe, might have been five <laughs> or six goals, but it was quite nice. You know, it was a small ground, so it was easy to do back in the day when you were oh a young tacker. Um, and, and, and this kid, <laughs> after, after games, we'd actually go to McDonald's as well. We'd go to Macca's and we'd get sort of, you know, a, a cheeseburger or something. <laughs> <laughs> like He's after the game. No, 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 how many no, goals you listen. scored in a season? <laughs> and oh, and my friend, at the time, when you're a, when you're a little, you know, when you're a bit immature and stuff, we, we were talking about the game. And it was it wasn't just me and my friend. There was a couple of other you know fellows from the team there. We'd always go to Macca's after games. And, your, your and I was eating it, and we were talking about nicknames? the game. Can we have can we have three? CJ, three other nicknames. Because you remember Callum. There was a guy called Callum, right? And we called yeah. him Cowboy, like Cal, C A L boy. Okay, yeah, so yeah. then we called him Tex because he was Texan, like a Texas Ranger, Cowboy. Woohoo! Like, so you kind of get intricate like that. Okay, another that, one, another and, one. What's another and name? And his name Tex stuck throughout the whole time. Another one, oh, gee whiz, you're really throwing me back here. I mean, I'm an old yeah, man. Yeah, you're talking about a long time ago. Go on. Uh, two uh, two so, more names, real quick. Oh, there were your best mates when you were going through Junior. AFL. See, the what reason mine stuck is because it was it's that it was so outrageous, you know, having happy meals and, and he, he's like, uh, oh, well, you know, kicking guys and Spongebob. I can vouch know. for that. I was Just... the manager of that team, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> so how right. much team. truth is there to this bloody old waffle, Stumpy Goblin, and your team? Can you tell what us you which one you think is the truth and which one you think is the lie, right. please? They Rusty, might both what be lies think? at this point, bro. I didn't actually I, get any I, information. I vote yeah. for the, the theme park is true. I yeah. think that's true. Oh, nah, 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 nah. I think that's a lie. And he I, can tell... Jack, I still I, don't know. I think, oh, I think that, the, that the AFL nickname uh, of... What was it? Camboy <laughs> Scorepants. Cambob. No, I Cam think Cam it was Cambob Scorepants. Yep. I think that is a lie. I can say that 
the prompt of I once had to be rescued from a theme park ride was true. Yes! We got him. <laughs> Thank God you Can guys I say that you <laughs> gave me the worst prompt in existence? <laughs> Somebody Bob got score pants. Cam Bob score pants is the stupidest thing I've ever read in my <laughs> life. Yeah, yeah, this is a rigged just, game. The right in the false, that's the, the, the fake prompt, huh? <laughs> that's why the bitch is for Yeah, Carl's got saying, got oh, there's no <laughs> conflict of interest. Give Stumpy an easy one and then gives me Cam Bob score pants to work with. I'm pretty sure, actually, that... I think Veracity believed you. For, yeah, for I believe that's true. Yeah. That's, that's true. That's true. That's crazy. That's yeah. the team. I've, I know Unfortunately, you, though, CJ's Aussie Rules nickname isn't really Cam Bob Scorepants. Although I have a fun nickname in my football team. It's piss off, you're not playing. I've already told you you're shite, which is <laughs> quite a nice little nickname for me. That's uh, the scores are ready. Let's see how everyone's getting on. Smashing oh. it. Oh, oh, we, get, we get double oh, points. Rough start, fellas. Boys, no, we, we got one, one for point each. for the first round. Ah. Next up is going to be Johnny Boy underscore I. On a night out, I once accidentally jumped in a taxi with an engaged couple who were breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my second prompt. I had a pet cleaner fish that would regularly slither towards my microwave. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Am I being am I being stupid, guys? What, what what's a cle a cleaner fish? Yeah, I need what to Google a cleaner, cleaner fish? fish. It's uh, so you know, like the fish in um, that uh, they're like uh, the ones that clean the rocks. They clean the the, uh, uh, the yeah. inside of the tank. What? It glass. just walks around with a Hoover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no I've seen them. No, not Hoover. It's no, not, not in the UK, bro. Yeah. No. It's a dustbin. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, how did this mother yeah, yeah. to the kitchen? So it, it kept escaping. It would just, you know, <laughs> jump out the tank when no one's looking and start slithering along the uh, along the, the worktop towards the microwave. It yeah. was like, you know. Why would you describe a fish out of water as slithering? Wouldn't it be more like flopping? <laughs> no, I mean, if, if you see the fish out of water, they, I mean, some of them flop, but this one was barely moving. <laughs> <laughs> it was making a lot of progress. Okay, right. You know what? Like, you know, look. I've I've heard of a couple of those fish. They, you hear them about out and about. I've, I saw one yeah. that time. So yeah. the, first, the first story, right? What that was? Um, yeah. so what were they? Did they say anything that you remember? Was there any quotes? Like, yeah, one second they jumped in a taxi with an engaged couple who were breaking was up. This? So. It was it was in Glasgow, so I thought back then that was when they were doing. Do you remember uh, like Uber Pool? So uh, yeah, I got in the wrong taxi, um, thought it was mine, and uh, yeah, this this couple, you know, they were not really like two, but they were so you know it, 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 like engrossed in conversation that I guess they just thought that this was fine, this is normal. But yeah, the more I overheard, I was like, oh my goodness, hold on, this is. Oh, I see. They are they are breaking up. I got in. And then usually when you get in, it gives you the notification on your phone, your ride has started. That didn't happen. And I was like, oh, and now I've got to like find a gap in their conversation to be like, excuse me. Because, yeah, I'm not. I'm so not you did get sound like you, though. Why would you wait? You would definitely He wouldn't get an Uber pool right. either. I've never yeah, seen I'll, Johnny I'll, think yeah, that's yeah, that's awesome. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> Johnny would get. You Uber pool. It's crazy. Also, you said the prompt says taxi. And the prompt says taxi. And you immediately started talking about Ubers. That's because yeah, they're, they're Johnny would, like, yeah, Johnny every would taxi get, like, I get in Glasgow is an Uber. I'm, I'm so sure that that's a lie, boys. But one, because he doesn't really remember the conversation, but it was enough to, to, to bring a prompt of this one to the team, which is are we, are clearly we like, it wasn't that memorable. <laughs> are we skipping over the fact that Johnny spent the first two minutes of this his section going, yeah, yeah, it was a, uh, you know that, you know, the fish that, you know. No, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was on purpose. No, 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 that I was on purpose. You. I hear you. The fish, is, the fish was questionable. <laughs> CJ, We've CJ. Got Gonna have to yeah, prompt you for an answer. I'll leave it to I, you guys. I am 100% confident, and my team fully back me in that Johnny, the fact that he jumped in some taxi with a gauge cover, that is a, the biggest lie I've ever heard. And he absolutely would own a cleaner fish that would randomly slither, up, happen to be towards <laughs> the direction of a microwave every single time. Lock it in. We get our first we're, points we're on the board. We're locking it in. Come on. We're getting a point on the board. Come on. Right. I can reveal that I had a pet cleaner fish that would regularly slither towards my microwave. It's true. Nice. What? Come on! Nice. What the nice. 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 Let's nice. go! See, John, we got down because we know Johnny too well. There's no way John McDonald is hopping to Uber. <laughs> Yes, everybody, it does turn out that Johnny's childhood pets were slimy, smelly, damp, lifeless bottom feeders that fed on scraps and occasionally slithered lazily towards a microwave. He used to really miss them, but now that void is filled by his Twitch chat.
Oh, that, that's a lie. Nice. That's a lie. Next <laughs> up is going right. to be Mr. Apparently Jack. My first prompt is at school, I genuinely convinced my classmates I was a wizard. And the second prompt <clears throat> is that I think baby sweet corn is the most underrated food in the world. I add it to almost everything at home. Only oh, at home. Also oh, true. Sweet okay. corn is that's, that's right Okay, now. how did you YouTube convince video. them you were a wizard? So I was out at like uh, at break, right? And I had like my friends next to me. It started off with one guy. That's a lie already. Friend. But I would say to them, I was like, look at that guy over there, right? I can make him like freeze. I can make him like stand still on the spot. And I'd look at him, like look at the guy who was pointed to and just like flash my eyes, you know, and pretend to do some sort of like kind of trick. And the guy wouldn't move because obviously he was just stood still. And my friends would <laughs> believe me pretty much. <laughs> Wait, that so was it. Was that all, was your. So he was already stood still, and then you thought, "I bet I can make him stay still." <laughs> yeah. Well, we were like, we were young. Did you How have any young? other spells? Because, like, obviously, when you started to unlock that power, your friends would be pretty interested. In what else you can do? But you know, what else did you try and convince them? No, no. So that was pretty much it, right? But I would also <laughs> tell them that I went to a, um, I went to like a, a magic school in in the sky, like in the clouds. <laughs> We were young, like in the clouds. In the clouds, they genuinely <laughs> believed me. Jack, how old were you? Mm. I was, uh, I would have been six. Okay. So it was okay. So young school. enough. Okay. So wait, what was sorry, I what, forgot what, what, the other one. What was the other one again? I think baby sweet corn is the most underrated mm -hmm. food in the world. I add it to almost everything at, at home. At home. What's What's the most outrageous mm. thing that you've added it to that you think most people would be like, mate, it doesn't okay. work there, but you've right, still so, done it. Okay. So crisps is one. That is that is genuinely good. Like I know people are gonna think I'm like genuinely batshit crazy, like, but it's crisps and also just bread with butter. Mm. Do you, wait, I, I do you chop, it, that is, do, do you chop it up or how do you prepare a, a baby sweet corn sandwich? I don't know, I always got my mum to do it. Just to stop Jack there, <laughs> I usually have it as a as a form of dip. Um and yes, you can have it yeah, on that, the chips and stuff. Oh, wait, Jack, yeah, hold I, like on. So, sweet corn. I don't think I've right. ever seen you eating sweet corn. In fact, I've seen you like rejecting vegetables. Uh, at every turn, almost every time. Did say at home. Yeah, but nah. what what is it about sweet corn that really hit, hits corn. better at home? Baby sweet yeah, corn baby at home, corn. and then nowhere else. So you've never, I've never seen you eat sweet corn or vegetables. Well, because well, one, you don't like get, you don't just get baby sweet corn like out and about at a land. Do you, have you ever seen? <laughs> have you ever seen an RCS event? Which is, by the way, the only time you see me. Do you ever <laughs> see? No, I, I feel like you're you're so infatuated with it. I felt like you might have. You, know, you might have no, a little really. bag of it, because like a bag okay. of baby sweet corn. Okay, Stumpy, I think you guys have figured out as much info as you may or may not need. Oh, yeah. So, did he convince his classmates he was a wizard, or is he obsessed with baby sweet corn? Team, I reckon that the wizard one, it's crazy enough for a kid, right? Because when you're six years old, you you do that thing where you've seen Star Wars, and like you think, oh, maybe I can like, force pull this. And like you'll think, oh, okay, no, I can't do that. Like You're messing mm. around. That to me feels quite believable. I think he's lying about being a wizard. Johnny, what do you think? Yeah, it's it's up to you again, Stubby. I'm sorry, but you've got the deciding <laughs> vote. I, I if, I'm this wrong, if I'm wrong, then I'm so sorry. I think Jack is weird enough to um, enjoy the uh, baby sweet corn. So I think that the baby sweet corn is true. I can reveal that me liking baby sweet corn a lot, most underrated food in the world, adding it to almost everything, at home, specifically at home, not anywhere else, is in fact a lie. Yes, yes. I'm good guys. We're back. I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm so <laughs> when I sent Jack that one, I didn't know that he specifically didn't eat vegetables, which makes his yeah, performance yeah. even I, better. I, Very I, I didn't know amazing. You didn't eat vegetables. Apparently, Jack, however, did manage to convince his fellow classmates that he was a wizard. And him doing so inspired me to write a book with him as a posh-speaking British wizard, me as his ginger best mate, and Stumpy Goblin identifying as a witch. Sadly, some author who must not be named sent me a cease and desist for so many reasons. Next up <laughs> is going to be after we have seen the scores actually first. Let's see how these guys I are getting on after We're that back. successful oh, fight. There we go. Oh, We're back. Unbelievable. <laughs> Veracity, you are going to be up next. My first prompt is that when I was a child, um, I was punched in the face by Captain Hook. <laughs> My second it's be one interesting to dive into. Yeah. <laughs> is that there's one specific pigeon that is my least favorite animal of all time. Right. What what pigeons that? Basically, when I was in high school, uh, it was the day of my prom. 
I was ready, makeup, hair, dress on, everything, and I got pooped on by a pigeon. And the guy that was supposed to be my date for prom uh, ended up going with my best friend at the time. Oh that God. sounds like a movie. There is no way that this actually happened to someone. I've been pooped on quite a lot at school. And by so a pigeon. I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sorry. Pigeon, pigeon. Yeah, pigeon. Pigeon as well sometimes. But yeah, it happens all the time. So I, 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 I kind of like that one. How much are we talking? If you had to weigh it in, you know grams how, how much mm. dressing yeah. give us, how, give us how many a... grams of, of of poo do you reckon give it us was? it to the nearest millimeter I, I, I <laughs> yeah i can't really give you it in grams bro but oh. i can tell you that the majority of it was in my hair there was also some on my dress as well i got one more one more one more question about this prompt then i think we should and then let's to move on to captain yeah yeah, yeah. yeah one, one more. so what what did your what did the rest of your day look night or evening look like then so my mom had to help me like recurl my hair and stuff so i showed up late i got there um, I saw him dancing with my best mate, and I was a little bit heartbroken, so I cried in the girls' toilets. For it. Wait, so so did this person go with your best mate, or just ended up dancing with your best mate? No, he he night? went he went with her. He went. And, with and her. what was the person's wow. name? Can you say that or no? Is that too much? Who the guy or the girl? Both. Okay, so the guy plays games, so I'm sincerely hoping this never gets back to him. Uh, he was oh, I would Austin, uh, and so, her name second, was second name. I just accidentally said it. Okay, no. No, we didn't hear it. We didn't hear it. Okay. I didn't. All right, guys. I'm going to have to jump you over right, to for us to move on to Captain Feather Sword as a child here. by Captain Hook. Oh, I was at Disneyland uh, with my family. I was really, really young and um, I was super excited to see all of the characters. Captain Hook was walking past, like marching, and he just like hooks me in the face and I go flying backwards. Okay. He's, so you're saying his stride was so vicious <laughs> yes. that like on the backswing yes. he could send you flying? Is that yes. what happened? Yes. I was like a toddler. And you said you got bopped by Captain Hook? <laughs> you got bopped. Bopped his one it, yeah. <laughs> and then what happened? <laughs> and then I started crying. Did you Did square you up? Or you keep on Did I square up? I was a toddler, yeah. bro. <laughs> was Hook like apologetic or did he just sort of shrug he and do did, his job or what? He didn't even notice but what's the guy that's behind him? Shmi? He, he noticed that pretty and fast. his reaction was just like and then he ran after him. Oh, yeah, I feel like Disney character, Disney like you know actors, they don't they don't break character. You know, I think if he if he clattered a kid in the face, he's just gonna <laughs> act like it happens on a day to day basis. We should just get some of this job. Nah, nah. clattered, bopped. But the, see, the thing that gives me cause for pause with the other story is that she said her best friend went with her date. He's the best friend. Why would, she, why, would she go, why would she go with him? I think she's capping. I think she's cap. I think this is like a movie script. This this yeah, whole I think she's best friend. About that. Like, how's this guy? Like, oh, my date got shat on. Oh, well, I guess I got the best <laughs> friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, CJ, I'm going to have to hear your final answer. Please, Teenage my boys. Which one is no, no, true? No, no, which one is he false? He didn't know. Wait, you're saying Disney is true? Yeah, I think yeah, I, agree. I agree. Yeah, okay, okay, I think okay. I think you got you definitely got bopped by Captain Hook <laughs> on, on the back of it. Um, so I'll lock that in. Barasti? As a child, I was uh, punched in the face by Captain Hook with the hook, and that is indeed true. Yeah! Yes! Okay, nice. Oh, oh. Another one for the good and, guy. And I will add one thing to that: my parents have it on video. Oh my oh, god! That's insane. Yeah, we need you, that. You need to put the Why have we not heard the video? Why have we? Wow. Not it's I did ask for the video. It's, it's on, on a VCR, VCR, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, you yeah. played the first story well. I thought I mm. for the entire no, time. It, she I went straight into it as well. So we are getting towards the end. Thank you, Vrassi, for your stories. And thanks to the captain's right hook, you may have a lifelong phobia of pirates. The good news is that when Stumpy Goblin eventually does the right <laughs> thing and dons an eye patch, you'll probably never speak to him again. Ah, uh, the eye. Finally, the eye. finally the eye. is That's going true. to be... <laughs> it is finally the Finally, is going to be yeah, well done, Mr. <laughs> T-Bait. I was scammed on Rocket League by someone who it turned out went to the same high school as me. Prompt number two, I hate going to the movies unless I'm wearing my special comfy pants. That is, Very okay, so I'd like to say, Bates, when's the last time that you went to the cinema and what did you watch? Actually, I just went to the cinema last <coughs> Friday. Friday, went to the cinema mm -hmm. last Friday and I went and saw that new, uh, that new uh, Hunger Games movie. Okay, and what are, what are your comfy pants that you wear? They're actually my PJs, which I don't have on right now, and uh, my legs are really tight because you know I have a large posterior on the bottom. With the oh, he uh, did. He that got boy's it. He got, got a dump. And so, and, so, and so I like wearing stuff that gives me a little bit of room to breathe. This is why <laughs> I thought this one was true because Bates swings his cake about and. <laughs> 
No, he <laughs> does, man. And that's no, it's it's and, 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 it's like, I'm actually so tight right now. And like people, people who know, like when I'm on the desk, I sit weird sometimes because sometimes I feel like my pants get too tight. So yeah, okay. I, like wearing, I like wearing pants that are. And comfy. what's it like having you know such a you know large? Why are you bottom? asking the question? <laughs> 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 I'm interested. Just interested. Just interested. You know, just interested. Just just interested. Just sneak that one in there. Just, just a personal question. You know. Can we ask you to stand up? Is that is that? Oh, he got okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just are believe you, me. Can we get a look at the goods? Yeah. Are people are you telling you to stand up and just stand side? If you want to. If you want to. If you want to. Listen. It's insane. What a man. This is a man right here. Oh, that <laughs> <thing is> cake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, what was the other? So there was another truth. Uh, the other was prompt, I was sorry. scammed on Rocket League by someone who turned out went to the same high school as me. Can you what, tell what, us that whole story, please? Okay, I got scammed out of white zombies. Tyler Bates got scammed out of white zombies. How did you get scammed though? So did somebody did they trick you that they had something to give you or what happened? How did you get yeah. scammed? No, I went to really buy a PC and I traded my whole entire inventory up. Cause that's when <laughs> like the markets used to be dominated by uh mm. what was that thing called heat wave and i traded my inventory uh, up to get it oh. and then and then i got the zombies and then i was working to try to trade to um get some monetary value out of the zombies <laughs> and i needed a middleman <laughs> and so i just uh traded somebody who i never even met ever in my life and uh they scammed me did it? What, okay. Did you go to a website? How did you find this person? It was just based off of um the people I played people I played ranked with. And okay, were you, so like, what, what was this hunt? person's name? Mm. Sorry, Johnny. There's dogs for people. Part? Yeah, first of all. Yeah, I wouldn't have had dogs over here. Yeah. So yeah, what what was this person's name? What was your? Did you go and like confront them at all? Oh, I've never confronted the person. The person's name was Jackson. They know that you That's know the American Wait. name. That isn't is an that, American isn't that your buddy name. Ajax? Yeah, oh. that is my buddy Ajax, yeah. Your buddy Ajax, you speak so highly of him. Like, I've yeah. heard you speak very highly of Ajax. I've seen you play ranked with him, like, recently. Like, when did, when did yeah. the scam occur? When did the scam occur? It occurred about Stumble. seven years ago. I thought that like would have been brought up some how, did, how did you find forgiveness in your soul? Have you I forgiven made, him? I made him recoup the losses by making me a zero champion. So we got the money back uh, tenfold. Okay, so um, Bates, how long have you had these comfy cinema pants for? How I've did you discover that you PJs. needed to go? I've had these PJs these. for about seven years. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not wow. Gonna lie. Seven, so you were time. you wearing them when well, you got a lot scammed? Of seven years. <laughs> no, I was not wearing them when I got scammed. I actually had my <laughs> setup on the ground. Were when you, I got were you selling? I I told my girlfriend <laughs> before she left. Uh, she didn't leave me, but she left like. <laughs> 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 she left to go back home. She left to go back home. Hey, that, that was the that was oh, the couple that Johnny saw. That was the couple that Johnny saw. Yeah, I, I heard the bar game. I, I need to buy more. It. I genuinely just love. I just love like PJs, and I've had down for so long. I need to like get some more PJs. My, my that can like correspond as pants. Do you wear them anywhere else apart from the cinema? Uh, when you go outside, I weren't anyone else. No, well, anywhere else outside. They, no, I don't want to be seen wearing PJs like all about. I don't walk about the mall with PJ pants on. No, like cinema, nobody see me. I walk in real fast. I sit in the chair. You can't see me. I'm comfortable. I lay back. Stumpy down. Goblin was you know what I'm simple. Is uh, is T Bates got particular pants, or did he get scammed by Team, someone who what is do we pants think? at the I game? I feel like that it's think... so big that he got scammed by Ajax, <laughs> Ajax. of all people, and then was like. Yeah, I'll play uh, no, with you. I, I, think he, I think he panicked. He got asked her a name and he just like thought, what's a Rocket League player name? I, I think know, so and said Jackson. He's a large post posterior man. And I feel like he would need comfy pants to go to the cinema in. That may, that tracks. T Bates, we believe that you having spe specific comfy cinema pants is true. The belief that I have specific comfy cinema oh, pants no. is false. No! <laughs> no, surely it's not Ajax though, right? Wait, were you actually scammed by Ajax for White Zombies? Yeah, he was like 15. <laughs> he was like 15. You got scammed by Ajax. I thought the pants was true as well. I was trying to sell him on the, on the scam. Uh, T-Bates was indeed hit by a trading scam. Him expecting to get White Zombies and ending up with nothing was, to him, Rocket League's most disappointing swap since North America swapped having a world trophy with not having a world's trophy <laughs> after season eight, and then never swapped back. <laughs> <laughs> NA is back.
Which <laughs> leads <laughs> us the beautifully to the final scores. CJ is confident. Let's find out. He's not going to no. It's four points to Team CJ and two points to Team Stumpy. Congratulations, CJ. A clean sweep, I'd say, after two. Uh, after the poor start, you know. From, uh, yeah, uh, I'd say uh, that I was just not going to let the team down. Would be a clean sweep. <laughs> no, I let, I let us down. I let us down. I, I should have been more. Uh, I should have been more mm. outspoken in my knowledge of Jack and his, <laughs> uh, his yeah. hatred of my, vegetables. My vegetable <laughs> tendencies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody, thank you so much for joining us, and also thank you everybody for tuning in and watching this, whether you've been watching on Twitch or YouTube or anywhere else. Also, massive thank you to Resolve sponsoring this really important for us to uh, have you guys involved other than that thank you everyone for tuning in it's been amazing to have you all here and that is pretty much it Bye. oh can i have the camera Carl, can i have the yeah, camera go on, cj you better be waving but yeah go on cj i just i just like to thank everyone for for coming it's 1-0 now to me um and like the guests. i think they were a w guessing chat Shout let us know if you want them back there's no there's no iron team buddy there's, one there's no iron team exactly but i'm 1-0 <laughs> against them but there is an um, i in wood rl i to you bye see everyone. you later <laughs> bye <laughs> terrible